I always really loved reading fantasy books and physics to me seemed the closest I would ever come to really studying magic. Probably the series that was the biggest influence on me was Philip Pullman's His Dark Materials, where he creates this incredibly vivid, detailed and, and mysterious universe that contains a huge amount of real science. And that got me started reading and trying to study and understand as much of the science and eventually the physics of our real universe as I could. The plot of His Dark Materials ends up quite heavily involving um, dark matter. And I'm currently part of a team that is building a new type of detector for dark matter and gravitational waves that is based on the um, quantum mechanical properties of um, cold atom clouds. So, uh, clouds of atoms that are cooled to just a few billionths of a degree above absolute zero. So these new kinds of cold atom-based quantum detectors um, use the difference in the evolution over time between um, clouds of atoms that travel along different parts and they can be incredibly sensitive to any tiny forces that will change the way that those atom clouds evolve. So these cold atom-based quantum detectors are sensitive to any small forces that can change the way that the atom clouds evolve over time. So while in my collaboration we are interested in really studying the foundations of science and understanding the broader universe and maybe seeing what um, new technologies or, or new techniques can evolve out of that in the longer term, there are already a huge number of applications to other sensing technologies that are being used here on Earth already. So, for instance, studying um, gravitational fields, magnetic fields, acceleration. So, while there are a huge number of applications, both near term and longer term, I think for me the most exciting part of this research is going right back to that kind of original wonder about the universe and trying to understand it better. <laughs>